The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the importance of primary health care services in countries around the world. Situating care at the local level, with services provided by people connected to the community, enables the detection of disease outbreaks and facilitates a more rapid response. It helps ensure that people who need care can access the services they need in a sustainable way, and by offering preventive as well as therapeutic services, primary health care is cost-effective. It makes it easier to address health problems before they require more specialized interventions, and it enables people to stay in school or continue to work instead of being sick. Now, although the pandemic has brought primary health care into sharper focus, it has been on the international agenda for several decades. In 1978, world leaders gathered in what was then the Soviet Union to commit to primary health care in the Declaration of Alma-Ata. And in 2018, 40 years after that declaration, global health leaders met again in Astana to reaffirm their support for health services linked to the community. In March of 2020, the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 outbreak to be a global pandemic. The Access to COVID-19 Tools Accelerator was established later that spring to coordinate the international response to the pandemic and stimulate the development of diagnostics, treatments, and vaccines. The ACT Accelerator devotes an entire pillar of work to health systems. And as COVID-19 vaccines become available worldwide, primary health care providers have an important role to play in delivering them and helping people make informed choices about whether or not to get vaccinated. Now, over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, long-term investments in primary health care have paid off for several countries. Israel's investments in expanding access to quality and affordable health services, as well as electronic record keeping, have facilitated an efficient campaign to roll out COVID-19 vaccinations. Ghana's focus on recruiting and training community health workers since the 1990s has expanded access to health care in its poorest regions and contributed to a national immunization coverage of 95%. As Ghana delivers COVID-19 vaccines to its population, its strong immunization system, linked to community health care, helps ensure vaccines are accessible to even remote, hard-to-reach populations. And there is also evidence that in India, where the number of confirmed COVID cases skyrocketed in the spring of 2021, states that had prioritized primary health care services in the past have been better able to respond to the current crisis. Making primary health care services a priority now, during the pandemic, and into the future is cost effective. When doctors, nurses, and other caregivers linked to the community provide services at the local level, it strengthens the performance of the health system and improves people's confidence in it. In the end, investing in primary health care helps countries ensure the well being of their people while responding to outbreaks and preparing for future pandemics as well.